the students now we are going to discuss how can you find the specific heat of solid or a determination of specific heat of solid so what are the required materials for this activity so calorimeter wooden box water stirrer thermometer and a steam heater so these are the required materials for this activity so first of all take a calorimeter measure the mass of calorimeter with stirrer consider that is m1 grams mass of calorimeter with stirrer so the stirrer is used to stir the components so mass of calorimeter with stirrer that is m1 grams after that now that calorimeter is filled with water by one third volume after that once again measure the mass of calorimeter with water consider that is m2 grams now we can find only mass of water you know the mass of water we get m2 minus m1 m2 is mass of calorimeter with water minus m1 mass of calorimeter we get only mass of water right now so by using thermometer see here this is thermometer we can measure the temperature of water and calorimeter consider water and calorimeter both are at same temperature so we want to measure the temperature of water and calorimeter because water is in calorimeter no so measure the temperature so the temperature is called t1 so the temperature of water and calorimeter is t1 both are at same temperature so this is another vessel so it contains certain amount of water now so by using the steam heater just we can boil the water up to 100 degree centigrade now takes a some lead shots these lead shots are dropped into water now the lead shots are in steam consider the temperature is t2 degree centigrade so temperature of lead shots in steam that is t2 degree centigrade now <coughs> these lead shots these are the lead shots in steam lead shots are in steam so the temperature is t2 now these lead shots are take out from steam immediately transferred into calorimeter when these were dropped into calorimeter the heat is transfer from lead shots to water you know this water is in calorimeter so because that heat is transfer from lead shots to water and copper calorimeter right now <clears throat> after that once again measure the mass of calorimeter with lead shots consider that is m3 grams mass of calorimeter with lead shots that is m3 grams we can measure the temperature of water and calorimeter so consider that is t3 degree centigrade when lead shots are in steam temperature is t2 while lead shots are dropped into water that temperature is t3 <coughs> so the temperature of lead shots in calorimeter so that is t3 after that now we want to find only the mass of lead shots so the mass of lead shots equal to m3 minus m2 m3 means what mass of calorimeter with lead shots minus m2 mass of calorimeter with water so mass of calorimeter with lead shots m3 minus mass of calorimeter with water m2 so that is called mass of the lead shots m3 minus m2 right so according to method of mixtures you know heat lost by the hot body equal to heat gained by the cold body while those are mixed into water the heat is transfer from lead shot to water and calorimeter right so then heat lost by the lead shot equal to heat gained by the calorimeter 
plus heat gained by the water right now you know the formula q equal to ms delta t so this formula is applicable for these three substances like a lead salt calorimeter and water you know q equal to ms delta t so out of three substances so from lead salt heat is a transfer to water and calorimeter now first heat lost by the lead salt you know in q equal to ms delta t here m is mass mass of lead salt what is the mass of lead salts that is m3 minus m2 mass of lead salts that is m3 minus m2 instead of m we can write m3 minus m2 here s is specific heat now lead salt specific heat is sl into change in temperature delta t initial temperature of lead salts why lead salts are in steam the temperature is t2 when those are dropped into cool water the temperature is t3 so out of t2 and t3 t2 is highest and t3 is the lowest so because t2 minus t3 equal to heat gained by calorimeter same formula is applicable to calorimeter here in q equal to ms delta t m is mass of calorimeter so the mass of calorimeter the mass of calorimeter that is m1 here yes specific heat of calorimeter so specific heat of calorimeter so instead of s we can write sc sc means specific heat of calorimeter into delta t change in temperature initial temperature of calorimeter is t1 while lead salts are dropped into calorimeter temperature is t3 out of t1 and t3 t3 is highest do t3 minus t1 plus heat gained by water same formula is applicable to water in q equal to ms delta t here m is mass of water so the mass of water is m2 minus m1 mass of water that is m2 minus m1 yes s yes means specific heat of water instead of yes we can write sw so that is sw into delta t change in temperature so initial temperature of water is t1 degree celsius when those are dropped into water temperature is t3 out of t1 and t3 t3 is highest so t3 minus t1 right now here m1 sc into t3 minus t1 plus m2 minus m1 into sw into t3 minus t1 here t3 minus t1 is take common so we can write m1 sc plus m2 minus m1 into sw into t3 minus t1 here this is what m3 minus m2 into sl into t2 minus t3 now here we can determine specific heat of lead salt here sl is specific heat of lead salt sl equal to here we get this one m1 sc plus m2 minus m1 into sw into t3 minus t1 by m3 minus m2 into t2 minus t3 so this is the formula to determine specific heat of lead salt right instead of lead salt we can use any metallic substance using this formula we can determine it so that is sl equal to m1 sc plus m2 minus m1 into sw into t3 minus t1 by m3 minus m2 into t2 minus t3 right